Hey guys, it's Bonnie. Today I am here to do the Jennifer Lawrence book tag. Um, per usual, I wasn't tagged, but I really love Jennifer Lawrence, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to do it anyway. I forgot to look up who did this tag, but I will put their name here, and obviously, as always, the original video will be linked down below, but let's just get right into the tag. The first little question, or just Jennifer Lawrence thing, is growing up in Kentucky, and for this, I am supposed to pick a book set in a rural area. Um, I don't think I've read too many books set in rural areas, nor am I really sure what exactly is considered rural. I know it's like, not a city. For this, I'm gonna go with the Raven Boys because it's set in Henrietta, Virginia, or West Virginia, one of those, and like, I don't know how rural it is. Rural, rural, rural. But I mean, it's like the closest, and when I think of it, I don't think like big city lights, so I mean, good enough, right? Yeah. Discovered on the streets of New York. A book that you found while browsing and you ended up loving. I don't really, again, have one for this question, really? Because I haven't really browsed and found like a completely unknown book and been like, wow, incredible. For this, I'm gonna pick The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks because wow, look how beat up the copy is for one. It's a mass market paperback, so I definitely just found this while browsing and I didn't really know what it was about. Obviously, I knew Miley and Liam Hum Miley and Liam Hemsworth. Nope, they didn't get married. Obviously, I knew Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth were in it because their faces are on it, but I really didn't know anything about it. Had never read a Nicholas Sparks book before then, and I really, really love this book, so yeah, that's my choice. Wearing off social media. Pick a book that you refuse to read. I really can't think of a book that I refuse to read, so I feel like I'm pretty much open to anything. I mean, I could say Fifty Shades of Grey, but I guess I don't, I'm not refusing to read it. I just don't see myself reading it. I, I don't know. I could also say like the Maze Runner prequels because the Maze Runner series just went so downhill for me and I just, do, I, have, I have no interest in those books. Like I do not, honestly, I'm not sure if I ever want to read something James Dashner writes. No offense, he seems like a great person, but the Maze Runner just, the writing style drove me insane. So that, I guess, can be the answer for this question. Beginnings on TV, transferring into film. A book series that each installment just got better and better. This one was a hard one to choose because a lot of series, especially in the YA genre, they get worse as they go along. The first one's like great and then they just go downhill from there. I know Cinder is a series that everyone says gets way, way, way better, but I, just, I haven't continued that yet, so I can't choose it. But I did find one, and it is the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. Obviously, I love every book in this series, but as the series go on, they just get better and better as they get kind of darker and more mature, and it's just, ugh, this series. Perfect. The Oscar Trip, a book series that hit a snag. For this, I'm gonna go with the Divergent series trilogy by Veronica Roth, because Divergent, the first one, Incredible. Five star book. I loved it so much. Surgent, it was okay. I mean, I read it still in the day. I haven't read all these books like ASAP. But, like, it was okay. I wasn't that into it. Maybe like a four star book, 3.5, something like that. And then this book happened. The big ending thing that happened, it's just the way it wrapped up the conclusion, the like, the reason that everything's happened, like the reason behind the whole society. It was just so, like, what? Really? I mean, she could have took this in so many directions, I think, and it just, ugh. Bye, Insurgent. It, this, it just didn't hit it on the nail for me. Sorry. j Law and Chris Martin, your favorite book by a collaboration of authors. This, I'm going to go with Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by David Levithan and Rachel Cohn. Con. I'm not sure how to say her last name. But this book, I recently read it during the Christmas time, and it was phenomenal. I think that both of them writing really helped the story because they were each able to write a different character's perspective um, as the book went on, which is between two characters. And this book is just so, so good. If you haven't read this, I would definitely, definitely, I would definitely recommend picking this up around Christmas because it is the perfect Christmas read or just holiday read no matter what you celebrate. And yeah. Working with David O. Russell, a dysfunctional character you couldn't help but love. It'd be really funny to pick like Tiffany or Pat for this character. <laughs> this character, this question. 
I joked about it, but I really am gonna go with like Pat and Tiffany from Silver Lines Playbook because they are just the most dysfunctional but lovable characters. They are serious, they're messed up people, you know, especially Tiffany and I mean Pat, he's just, uh, they're both so crazy and dysfunctional. But it's impossible not to fall in love with them and root for them and yeah, this book is great. So if you haven't read it, even though you've watched the movie, I would still do it. I mean, I read it before I watched the movie. Um, and there's definitely some differences between the book and the movie, so I would still read it, and it's really good, so yes. Mystique, a villain who thinks they are doing right, aka every villain ever created. For this, I'm going to go with Clancy from The Darkest Minds. He's not like, you know, the main villain ever, but I mean, he's, he's pretty awful. And I believe he thinks that he is doing the right thing, and that, you know, he's just trying to fight for them, right? But I... Clancy. The Hunger Games. Your favorite high-profile series. And finally, everything she has ever said. Favorite comedic or snarky character. For this, I'm gonna go back to the Darkest Minds, and I'm gonna pick Chubbs, because Chubbs is snarky, and he's hilarious, but he's also just a great friend and a great character, and I freaking love Chubbs. He is the man, and I love him, so yes, Chubbs, always Chubbs. Okay, so that was the Jennifer Lawrence book tag. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you've done this tag down in the comments. I would love to watch it. And tell me what your favorite Jennifer Lawrence movie is, because that's fun. We all have favorite Jennifer Lawrence movies, right? I think mine would probably be Silver Linings Playbook. Okay, so that is all I have for this video. I will see you all in my next one. Goodbye. You know, the big ending thing that happened? What the heck was that? Okay. Working with David O. Russell, a Nope. I can't even say David Russell's name because, you know, he's awful. I hate him. Why are you always in his movies, Jennifer? Why?